first thing we're going to do is you guys are going to use little number cards to build your answer. Okay? So I'm going to pass these out. When as soon as you get it, just take your numbers and order them zero to nine in order in front of you. I'm going to just kind of plop some out and y'all just start passing them around to each other, okay? I know that at least one pack, I just did a different kind of one in kindergarten the other day, and they kept one number. So if you are missing a number, tell me and I will get you. I don't know which pack it is yet. Who else still needs them? Anyone else still needs them? So you'll put them, your numbers in order, zero to nine. That's convenient. You get to decide what the six is and what the nine is. Do that. You're going to need space to build the number below you, so do just one row, zero to nine, instead of two. You don't have a six? Do you have a six, two that look like a nine? Nope, okay, then let me trade you out for a different bag. Okay, so while the last few of you are finishing putting them in order, you can just tuck your Ziploc baggie under your leg kind of out of the way. I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of directions of what we're going to do. What we're going to do basically is kind of like, a clue game. I'm going to give y'all clues and you're going to try to figure out a number based on the clues I give you. Okay? You might have to adjust your thinking as you're going, so you're going to have to keep track of some things in your mind and adjust your thinking as you're going. So I'm going to ask you guys to make a three digit number, but you are not going to use any number twice. So like it will not have two eights in it. You just have oh, one of each number. Oh, so sorry. that's kind of your first big clue. No numbers will be repeated, okay? So you can go over your six and make it look nice. Right. Why unfreeze? Oh, is the remote up there? Yeah. The freeze button in the middle? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So you ordered your tiles in front of you. You're going to make a three-digit number. You're not going to use the same digit twice. You ready for your first clue? So again, you might get a clue and make a guess, and then you might have to adjust it when you get the next clue. That's okay. So your first clue is the digit in the hundredths place is between five and eight. So make a three-digit number using these clues so far. So right now you're just making a guess. Three digits. Three digits. You're gonna have. What does that mean? Three digit number. Think a second. Yes. Okay. You're gonna have up to the hundred. So you'll have a number of the ones place, tens place, and hundreds place. So everyone should have a three digit number built in front of you. So go ahead and put all three numbers out that are gonna be your guess. And the digit in the hundreds place is between five and eight. Okay, I'm going to give you the next clue. The digit in the ones place is less than three. Digit in the ones place is less than three. So you might have to be trading a number out. Ones place is less than three. The next clue. Yeah. The digit in the tens place is even and greater than five. The digit in the tens place is even and greater than five. Okay. 
As you have to change a number, make sure you look back at all your hints to make sure that it's still matching all your clues. Now listen to this one. The digits are in descending order. Think in your brain a minute. What could descending mean? The digits are in descending order. Share with your shoulder partner. What does descending mean? Okay, who's going to tell me? What What do we think descending means? I think it means from greatest to least. Very good. Okay, so that's another clue. Make sure your numbers are in descending order. How much clues are there? We're getting near the end. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay, that's a great question. Everyone listen to this. Let's put our math brains on. The digit in the ones place is less than three. Is three less than three? No. No, three is what? It's equal to three. So it has to be less than three. Question. Y'all ready for the next clue? Yes. The number you are making is not a multiple of 10. So think in your brain, what does that mean? Not a multiple of 10. Not a multiple of 10. Share with your shoulder partner, what does that mean? Okay, great, come back up here. Who can explain to us what does that mean, not a multiple of 10? It can't be divided by 10s or, or multiplied by 10s. Right, so it can't be divided evenly by 10. Very good. So what kind of does that tell us about one of our digits? It's going to give us a real big clue about one of them. You can't have um, a zero at the end. Right. Okay, we're nearing the end. You guys ready? Yeah. That's a weird thing. Oh, now, what can our number be? So you're going to think. Look at all your clues. Make sure that your number ma matches all your clues. Now what you guys are going to do, you're going to defend your answer to a shoulder partner and discuss. Can your answer fit our clues? So discuss with your shoulder partner. Okay, who is ready to defend an answer to me? You're going to have to go through and defend your answer. Yes, sir. What do you think it could be? I think it could be 762. Anyone else? Like that? Okay. Explain why. Because. First of all, the digit in the hundreds place is between seven and eight. Okay. And then so I picked seven hundred. Uh huh. And then the digit in the ones place is less than two. Okay. Uh, is less than three. So I picked two. And then the digit in the tens place is even and greater than five. Okay. And then the, and the digits are in descending numbers. So um, the ones place and cannot be a bigger than tens. Okay, very good. Is that the only possible answer? No. no. Okay, what do you think? 761. Okay. Because it's still a three digit number, and none of the numbers are being used twice. And the digit in the hundreds place is still between five and three. And the digit in the ones place is still less than three. The digit in the tens place is still even and greater than five, and the digits are also in descending order, and it still isn't a multiple of ten. So. I want you to think a minute. What did you do in your brain? Or let me ask you this question first. Who picked this number first with the first clue? Did anyone? Was this the number you put? No. So everyone had to make changes along the way. So I want you to think about in a minute what was going on in your brain to make these changes as you went. Think about that and then share with your partner one way you adjusted your thinking as we went on in this. One way you adjusted your thinking. 
adjusted your thinking and how does that apply to all of school and life? Okay, someone share that. How do we adjust our thinking in all of our subjects in life, change our thinking as we're going? Yes? Like starting to um, take out numbers that you can't use. Okay, so changing things as you know more information, you kind of have to change things sometimes, right? Does that happen in reading sometimes? Do you think one thing at the beginning and then you have to change your thinking? Yeah. Yeah, that happens in every part of life. You might think one thing and then you have to change your thinking. Please take numbers equal to or greater than seven and put them in your bag. Then take all of the odd numbers that are still out and put them in your bag. put anything less than six in your bag. Now put everything else in your bag. Then check the area around you. Make sure you don't have a spray number stuck under your leg. And zip your bag up. If you can, try to zip your bag up as flat as you can. And thank you guys for doing this with me. What was the number? It was, there were two possible numbers, right? 760.